Tacoma News presents Future Transportation. Honda draws on robot expertise to help motorcyclists balance. Auto giant Honda has unveiled a well-balanced piece of motorcycle tech designed to help riders stay in the saddle at low speeds. The riding assist concept bike has an adjustable front fork that assumes a wider angle to increase stability. The fork has its own motor attached to the front wheel. As anyone who's ever tried to maneuver a big bike out of a parking lot at low speeds knows, keeping your balance at two or three miles an hour is one of the trickiest aspects of riding. And aw, would you look at that? Seems like Honda decided to create a futuristic pet motorcycle while they were at it. The bike was revealed earlier this week at tech trade show CES 2017 in Las Vegas. Although there's no plans to bring it to market soon, the concept bike shows how Honda's investment in robotics can have spin-off benefits for its vehicles. The technology behind the riding assist bike was honed in the development of both Honda's humanoid Asimo robot and Unicub scooter. The Unicub is seen here in the band OK Go's stunningly choreographed video for I Won't Let You Down. Personal robots like Asimo are likely still a decade away from being ready to be sold to consumers. However, the legacy technology from the development of Asimo and the Unicub could help bring real improvements to Honda's vehicles much sooner than that. Technology like this could mean that in the future, no motorcycle owner will ever drop their precious ride again. Well, at least at those wobbly low speeds anyway. Technology puts autonomous vehicles in the driving seat. A future in which self-driving vehicles travel our roads is edging closer as automakers introduce an ever-increasing range of innovations to their cars. One example of smart car technology is Ford's blind spot warning system. Radar sensors in the tail light detect other vehicles in the driver's blind spot and trigger a warning light in the side mirrors when it's unsafe to change lanes. Those radar sensors also detect oncoming vehicles when the vehicle is backing out of a parking spot. Other parking assistants already on the market include a feature in several Ford models that tells the driver when to hit the accelerator or brake. Meanwhile, some BMW drivers can already park their cars by pushing a button on a key fob. Today's cars use radar, sonar, cameras, or a combination of all three for active cruise control. This feature allows the car to drive autonomously at a fixed speed or at the speed of the vehicle in front, slowing down and speeding up automatically. However, the vehicle will emit a warning if the driver needs to take evasive action. The technology preps the brakes and will even brake automatically if the driver doesn't react in time. Some Mercedes cars can tell the difference between a four-legged and a two-legged obstacle and will brake harder for people. Cameras in today's cars can be used to detect lane markings and warn drivers to stay in their lane. This is designed to help tired drivers, but in practice often applies to those who are texting on their cell phones. If lane warnings aren't heated, this technology can steer the car back into the correct lane by hitting the brakes or turning the steering wheel. Tesla's electric cars are already capable of driving on autopilot and changing lanes without the driver's input. In the near future, we should expect to see Traffic Jam Autopilot, which will allow drivers to take their hands off the wheel in heavy traffic and let the car do the work. Looking further ahead, automakers are working on autonomous valet parking, which will see cars drop passengers off find their own parking space, then pick the passengers up when summoned by smartphone. However, we are still quite some time away from when every vehicle on the road is an autonomous one. But thanks to advances made by automakers, that day hopefully isn't too far away. Kia SUV gets fitted with tank treads. Kia modified one of its SUVs in a big way recently. How so? They flipped the front seats backwards and supplanted the wheels with tank treads. Most cars distribute the vehicle's weight over four wheels. This concept performs well in regular driving scenarios. But when faced with snow, mud, or other difficult terrain, the tires can sink, leaving the vehicle stuck. 
Korean car manufacturer Kia recently unveiled a concept car model of their Sorento line that replaces normal tires with tank treads. Also known as continuous tracks and caterpillar tracks, these distribute weight better over a larger surface than tires, enabling vehicles to traverse difficult terrain. Vehicles such as tanks use continuous tracks to maneuver across desert, mud, and other obstacles. The concept Sorento features an autonomous driving system and can also be controlled via a tablet rather than a regular steering wheel. The vehicle sports suicide-style doors to make getting in and out easier and seating similar to that of a gondola. Pretty cool, huh? The design was unveiled at SEMA 2017 last week in Las Vegas, where it garnered much attention. But because it's a concept car, it remains just that and isn't likely to be in your local car dealer anytime soon. BMW unveils its motorcycle of the future. BMW's latest concept motorcycle boasts a self-balancing feature that the company says eliminates the need for protective gear, including a helmet. BMW revealed the Motor Rad Vision Next 100 in Santa Monica, California on October 12th as part of celebrations of its 100th birthday. BMW's Motor Rad Vision Next 100 concept bike boasts a self-balancing feature that makes the bike stable both during the ride and at a standstill. What BMW calls a digital companion offers riding information and guidance to the rider. Should the system detect danger and if no action is taken by the rider, the digital companion will kick in and make the necessary corrective maneuvers. The digital companion appears as a heads-up display in an augmented reality visor paired with the motorcycle. Data enters the rider's field of view when called upon. If the rider looks straight ahead, no information is displayed. The concept includes clothing inspired by muscle cords that actively supports the rider. The clothes are equipped with vibrating elements on the arms and legs that act as indicators should the bike lean too far in one direction. The Motor Rad Vision Next 100 concept design was on display in Los Angeles through October 19th. This is what the airport of the future might look like. A UK company has released a concept of what airports will be like by the year 2040, and they look a whole lot more efficient and passenger friendly than today's airports. In the future, airline passengers will be expected to check in via self-service desks, which include biometric scanners that can scan passengers' facial features, iris patterns, and fingerprints in order to verify their identities. After check-in, a biometric token will be issued and stored in the passenger's smartphone. This serves as a boarding pass and ID. Luggage can be checked in at drop-off points. Laser molecular body scanners can detect even tiny quantities of dangerous materials in the passenger's clothing or their luggage without the need for a body search. Passengers may buy duty-free goods from virtual shopping stations and have the goods delivered to their homes. Airports in the future may need to expand their runways and parking facilities to cope with the increasing size of aircraft and the number of passengers. Airport control is likely to be operated remotely from outside the airport, with staff monitoring live video footage of the facility. Upon arrival, passengers will be notified when their luggage is ready for collection. When an airport enters the full self-service phase, passengers will get help from virtual assistants. And in fact, many such technologies are already being implemented. For example, biometric scanners are currently being trialed at Heathrow and Schiphol airports. First Hyperloop One system coming to the United Arab Emirates. Hyperloop One has signed an agreement with Dubai's Roads and Transport Authority to build the world's first Hyperloop system. Hyperloop One's system will connect Abu Dhabi and Dubai. Its stations, called hyperportals, will be located in the city centers. Passengers will travel in pods, which come in four different configurations. Cargo, coach, meeting, and lounge. The pods will pick up passengers at gates and travel autonomously to an underground level. There, they will be loaded inside a transporter capsule. Each transporter capsule will carry four pods. The capsules will be propelled by compressed air using magnetic levitation which eliminates friction inside a tube kept at a near vacuum to eliminate air resistance. 
they can travel at a speed of up to 1,200 kilometers per hour. The Hyperloop will reduce what's now a two-hour car trip between Abu Dhabi and Dubai to just 12 minutes. Hyperloop 1 said passengers inside the pods will not feel any discomfort, despite the extreme speeds. The capsules will stop at the Hyper Portal upon arrival, while the autonomous pods can either stop at the gates or continue beyond the Hyper Portal to take passengers to their destinations in the city. Hyperloop One said in a press release that the infrastructure does not have to work with the pods alone. It could also work with other self-driving vehicles. Uber reckons you'll be able to hail a flying cab by 2026. Ride-hailing company Uber released a very intriguing white paper last month. The nearly 100-page document envisions a future where commuters jetting city to city in compact aircraft could be as normal as taking the train to work. Uber's prediction of a world with commonplace urban air transit systems relies heavily on the widespread use of small self-flying electric aircraft with vertical takeoff and landing capability. Also known as VTOL, it's most commonly used by helicopters, as well as a small number of military aircraft. Uber says a network of VTOL hubs or landing pads, dubbed VertiPorts and Verti Stops, could be used as terminals to ferry passengers around. Unlike cars, buses, and trains, VTOLs aren't susceptible to traffic jams or delays. They can fly from A to B with no fixed route. Uber estimates the cost of a 15-minute flight may eventually reach as low as $21. Uber expects the aircraft could fly at cruise speeds of around 150 miles per hour and won't go above 10,000 feet. The VTOL would be powered by rechargeable batteries that would maintain 30 minutes of reserve energy. Uber won't manufacture the aircraft, but predicts the market will have produced them by the early 2020s. Uber needs to collaborate with governments and the private sector for this to become a reality, so that could take longer than a decade, especially on the regulatory side. Singapore tests out delivery by drone. Aircraft manufacturer Airbus is set to trial a drone delivery service, which if successful, could potentially lead to tests of flying passenger taxis. A new drone delivery service to be tested in Singapore next year will see drones being used to deliver parcels. During the trial, drones will navigate a network of delivery and pickup points across the National University of Singapore campus. These drones, also known as octocopters because of their eight blades, will fly automated on routes. These routes will be flown inside interconnecting sky corridors throughout the campus. Upon arrival, the drone will unload the parcel automatically and its recipient will be sent a delivery notification. Airbus says if the drone testing is shown to be safe, it may potentially increase acceptance of passenger flight testing in Singapore. The company has been developing an electric flying vehicle named the City Airbus for several years with the aim of reducing traffic congestion in cities. Airbus believes that people will use vehicles such as these in the future and that they could be operated via transport providers such as Uber. Would you take a ride in a flying taxi? Sound out below and let us know. Future luxury apartments could have balconies big enough for personal flying cars. Ever wondered what life would be like when flying cars become an everyday mode of transport? Canadian engineer Charles Bombardier and Indian industrial designer Ashish Tolkar hope to one day develop luxury apartments with landing pads for personal flyers. An imagined luxury apartment aims to help make personal flying vehicles become commonplace. 
This new kind of residential building would see vertically aligned landing pads accommodate the vehicles. Residents would not necessarily need to own such a vehicle, but could simply order one, much like a taxi or ride-sharing service. When detecting an inbound vehicle, the balcony could prepare for landing by lowering the rail guard automatically. Air traffic control systems would be necessary to keep the city skies orderly and safe. Although the idea is still in its infancy, Bombardier and Tolkar believe it may not be long before we see apartment buildings built to code for personal flyers. Mercedes-Benz designs new tech to protect your ears during car crashes. Mercedes-Benz has installed a technology in some of its new vehicles that could protect your hearing during accidents. Human ears have a natural defense against loud noises called the stapedius reflex. This is triggered when exposed to intense sound levels of around 100 decibels. Upon hearing the sound, the stapedius muscle contracts and pulls the stapes away from the oval window of the cochlea and tenses the eardrum. It's here that it reflects the noise instead of transmitting it to the inner ear. Mercedes-Benz have installed a special sound chip in its new E-Class cars. This generates sound known as pink noise to prepare the ears before an accident. This pink noise is played at a volume of 80 decibels. Since it is a spectrum of frequencies, it doesn't need to be played at a high volume to trigger the stapedius reflex. When the vehicle detects that an accident is imminent, it automatically plays a pink noise signal through the sound system. This protects the ears from the high level of noise that usually comes with a crash. The new technology is part of Mercedes-Benz's pre-safe system that was introduced in 2002. It is designed as a protection mechanism that launches when a crash takes place. Mercedes-Benz launches drone delivery cargo van. German automaker Mercedes-Benz has unveiled an electric van equipped with package delivery drones. The Vision Van is an electric vehicle with a range of up to 270 kilometers. Its rooftop serves as a launch and landing pad for Matternet M2 drones, which can carry a package of 4.4 pounds. All packages are scanned and sorted by robots before loading onto the van by a driverless handling vehicle. The van can calculate the ideal delivery routes for the driver, who steers the van using a joystick. The van is equipped with a robotic shelving system that automatically locates and prepares the package for the drone inside the cargo compartment. The drone can be used to deliver packages to destinations that are not accessible to the van or the driver. The system also locates and prepares the package for the driver if it can be manually delivered. The company said it will continue to explore the opportunities of innovative van-related business, therefore it created a new organizational unit called Future Transportation Systems, which involved research teams in Stuttgart, Berlin, and Silicon Valley. Car journeys are going to be so much fun in the future. Tech giant Panasonic has unveiled its futuristic vision for an autonomous car cabin. The Panasonic Autonomous Car Cabin has four seats that can face each other, arranged around a centerpiece interactive digital display system. Each seat has an individual display screen table that allows passengers to map the journey, play games, or read information. The four screens can also combine into a single table with a bigger screen. The interior trim of the cabin is made of plastic smart materials that display information and can change to look like wood, metal, or leather. Augmented reality windows can display information about the car's surroundings, such as landmarks and points of interest. Meanwhile, each seat has a personal audio zone, with speakers integrated into the headrests. Facial recognition technology identifies the driver and will only permit registered drivers to take control of the vehicle. Should the driver choose to take the wheel, an eight-camera system feeds into an augmented reality display in the windshield to aid navigation. Panasonic's design was revealed at tech trade show CES 2017 in Las Vegas. According to the company, the plans are still a work in progress. But Panasonic hopes the concept will give people an idea of what the autonomous car of the future might look like. Tilting three-wheeled vehicle concept brings superbike style to the car. 
A Florida inventor has designed a three-wheeled vehicle that can tilt 52 degrees while cornering. The narrow tilting vehicle with non-tilting wheels is a reverse trike-style vehicle with two wheels at the front. The vehicle would use flat car tires rather than rounded motorcycle tires as they do not tilt relative to the road. The cabin is managed by hydraulic actuators that create a cradle mechanism which allows the cabin to tilt when the angle of the road surface changes or a cornering g-force is being applied. The designer says the cabin can tilt up to 52 degrees, creating a flying sensation without using one's own body as a counterbalance. The designer of the vehicle is currently looking for partners to produce a prototype. New car technology recognizes road signs. Some vehicles can now recognize signs and alert drivers when traveling on congested roads. A new technology is making cars smarter. Vehicles that are fitted with a specially designed forward-facing mirror and a rain sensor are able to recognize important traffic signals such as speed limits, highway exits, no overtaking signs, and end of motorway indicators. The system automatically detects the signs and displays images of the warning on both the multifunction and navigation system unit displays. An onboard computer system cross-references the traffic signs detected by the camera with information from the navigation device and current vehicle data to make sure the information given to the driver is correct. The technology is available on selected car models produced by companies including Volkswagen, Audi, and Mercedes. Toyota pilots keyless car sharing service. Toyota will test its new Smart Key Box technology in vehicles used by car sharing service GetAround in San Francisco at the beginning of next year. A Smart Key Box is placed inside vehicles in the car sharing program. The person who wants to borrow the car will receive a code via an app on a smartphone. When the smartphone is brought near the vehicle, the pre-sent code is authenticated via Bluetooth. The user is then given access to the car and its push-button ignition. The user's code is only valid during the vehicle reservation period. The system will only be functional on all Lexus models and Toyota Priuses in the initial stage.